This is a script for a scalable Python price tracker that monitors changes in e-commerce web pages. With slight adjustments, this code could be used for a variety of websites. So what exactly does this tracker do? The tracker periodically scrapes product prices on e-commerce sites and extracts changes. Apart from the basic function of web scraping, the tracker sends an email alert when the product prices fall below a certain threshold. Whether you want to buy a desirable product at the lowest price or position your own product at the golden spot to increase profit margins, this guide is here to assist. Hello, I'm Augustus and in this video you'll find out which Python packages to use and how to install them. Namely, requests for sending HTTP requests, Beautiful Soup for querying specific HTML elements, LXML for parsing HTML, Price Parser for ease of data extraction, SMTPLib for sending notification emails, and Pandas for filtering product data and reading and writing CSV files. Let's get started. First, to make the whole process more organized, let's create a virtual environment. Next, open the terminal and install the dependencies. Note that the smtplib library is part of the Python standard library and doesn't need to be installed separately. Once the installation is complete, create a new Python file and add these imports. Then, Add these lines for initial configuration. Note that the CSV containing the target URLs is supplied as product URL CSV. If the save to CSV flag is set to true, the fetched prices will be saved to the CSV file specified as prices CSV. And send mail is a flag that can be set to true to send email alerts. The easiest way to store and manage the product URLs is to keep them in a CSV or JSON file. This time, let's use CSV as it is easily adaptable using a text editor or spreadsheet application. The CSV should contain at least two fields, URL and alert price. A title can be extracted from the product URL or stored in the same CSV file. If the price tracker finds product price dropping below a value of the alert price field, it will trigger an email alert. The CSV file can be read and converted to a dictionary object using pandas. Let's wrap this up in a simple function. The function will return a pandas data frame object that contains three columns – product, URL and alert price. The initial step is to loop over the target URLs. Note that getURLs returns a data frame object. To run a loop, first use the toDict method of pandas. When this method is called with the parameter records, it converts the data frame into a list of dictionaries. Now, run a loop over each dictionary. I'll revisit this method after writing two additional functions. The first function is to get the HTML and the second is to extract the price from it. To get the HTML from response for each URL, run this function. Next, create a beautiful soup object according to the response and locate the price element using a CSS selector. Use the price parser library to extract the price as a float for comparison with the alert price. If you want to better understand how price parser library works, follow a GitHub link in the description below. This function will extract price from the given HTML, returning it as a float. Note that the CSS selector used in this example is specific to the scraping target, namely books2scrape.com. If you are working with any other site, this is the only place where you would have to change the code. Now, use beautiful soup to locate an element containing the price via CSS selectors. This element is stored in the L variable. The text attribute of the L tag, L text, contains the price and currency symbol. Price parser parses this string to extract the price as a float value. As there are more than one product URL in the data frame object, let's loop over all the rows and update the data frame with new information. The easiest approach is to convert each row into a dictionary. 
This way, you can read the URL, call the getPrice function, and update the required fields. Let's add two new keys the extracted price, price, and a boolean value alert to filter rows for sending an email. The process products function is now extended to include the sequence. This function will return a new data frame object containing the product URL and a name read from the CSV. Additionally, it includes a price and alert flag used to send an email once the price drops. Optionally, you can send an email alert once the price drops based on the alert flag. First, create a function that filters the data frame and returns the email subject and body. Now, using smtplib, create another function that sends email alerts. Let's set the variables as mail user, mail pass, and mail to. The final data frame containing the updated product data can be saved as CSV using a call to the CSV function. Additionally, let's check the save to CSV flag. Note that the mode is set to A, which stands for append, to ensure new data is appended if the CSV file is present. The code is now complete. Execute the main function to run the entire code. You can find this code on our GitHub by following the links in the video description below. If you wish to run this automatically at certain intervals, use cronjob on Mac OS and Linux or task scheduler on Windows. Alternatively, you can also deploy this price monitoring script to any cloud service environment. This Python script can fetch product prices and other product data from any number of URLs. The functionality of this price monitor can be expanded further according to your preferences. For example, instead of saving to a CSV file, you can save this data to a database. If you have any questions about building a price tracker with Python or any other programming language, feel free to contact us at hello at oxylabs.io or simply leave a comment below. To see more content like this, hit the subscribe button as well as like and share this video on your social media. Thank you for tuning in, this was Oxylabs and I hope to see you next time.